Chris, it's a beautiful day. Um, the sun is up, right? The sun's bright. It's shining. Um, it's you know, it's just it's just lovely. You know what I'm saying? Here in the states, we have uh, Memorial Day weekend here, right? And that's just just know we have a three day weekend. But most importantly, I haven't played Halo yet, so I'm not pissed. I'm happy. <laughs> This is how I start my day. I get happy and I just... I don't believe that at all. I believe that you wake out of the be bed like, uh, goddamn fucking latency, my ping, blah, blah, blah. Well, like, honestly, there's... Yeah, that's liquid. That's no. the crotchety old liquid, as I like it. Your name is even old man liquid, all right? Is there underscores involved? Don't fucking adjust your table, you son of a bitch. All right. I just want to make sure we're looking eye to eye. I no, don't do that. You, know what what you, you, you were speaking like you were like hot, like this hot. I had to I had to make sure. Dude, we, you brought me down. I'm yeah, gonna make sure we're a little even. I was right here now. and then no, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> listen here, liquid. At the Thunderdome, we're gonna see. <laughs> Dude. Listen, I, 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 do you just want? I feel like I, I'm, I'm liking the vibes. Do you just want to do an extra episode right now? Boom! Well, that's the intro. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for uh, tuning in. This is the Microtransaction Extra episode. I'm your host, Liquid. Joining me today, I have none other than Covenant, uh, Four Shot, uh, UNSC, Nexus, Button Chris. Chris, how are you today? Look at I'm doing all right. I'm doing swell. I went to Taco Bell. They mm -hmm. messed up my order, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. But they messed it up for the better because whoever was before me or behind me ordered a lot better food than I oh. did, dude. <laughs> okay. So I only ordered like two cinnamon delights. I was like, I'm gonna treat myself, right? And I real because the Mexican pizza's back. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, so I was like, I'm gonna go get me a Mexican pizza, and then I just I didn't get that. And then, but then there was like all this food that had like the twelve cinnamon treats, and I was like, oh my god, these things are delicious. So I'm just popping these things like it's going out of style. Like I'm full as hell. I had. What was left of my Baja Blast? You know what I'm saying? And um, Liquid, I want to ask you a question. Please, please Because it was do. brought up to me. And I want to know if you had anything like this. Were there any things that when you were a kid, you were told, and you still believe it to be true today? I'm going to start it off, okay? okay? One of these things is that it's illegal to have the lights on in your car driving at night. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> You see, I always you see. I don't know about the term because it's the term illegal. Like, really bothers me. But uh, like, I thought I thought you could get pulled over for something like that. You see, I think we were just told the same. I don't think you can. I don't know if you can either, because like I know some people have said, oh, it's like it's a distraction, right? But I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I don't think you can either. I, I really yeah. Don't know. Like even like I, like I think about it because I'm like, yo, why aren't we all just driving at night with our lights on? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, exactly. It, it, we're just sitting in the dark at night driving. Right. Like, isn't that a little weird that we all just, as a species, just do that? You're sitting in the dark, you mean in the car? Or? Yeah, where it's nighttime, we don't have the lights on. We're just driving in the dark, being in the dark, driving. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't turn on the light. I feel like but we for know every other facet of life we mm -hmm. always turn on the lights. But I feel like we know, we know where everything's at, right? Is that not the case? I feel like we already, like... For the most part, we know what you know. See the, the steering wheel. Like I know what I'm doing. I don't need to see my feet to know which pedal I'm hitting, right? I guess. But I, yeah, you know. I guess you're right. But it's one of those things. Like I don't know. That it's just. It's just. I just think it's weird that and we I, don't do that. I like how you mentioned species. I want to ask. Like, well, um, what other species drives in vehicles like we do? Is there? Is there? I'm, there now I'm curious. Yeah, like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's other animals. There's turtles that jump on alligators, and the alligator will swim. <laughs> well, is that is that considered a vehicle, or is that just like another animal? Oh, uh, right? he's a mode of transportation at the time. <laughs> so, like camels are vehicles when 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 people ride them in the desert. Horses and... are vehicles. <laughs> okay. A donkey. Yeah. A ostrich. What is vehicle? Is vehicle just a means of transportation? I think I I legitimately think so. I'm gonna look it up now. Yeah. Yeah. A vehicle is a mode of transportation. The definition. A thing used for transporting people or goods, especially on land, such as a car, truck, or cart. I want to see the... 
And then I want to get the second definition. A thing used to express, embody, or fulfill something. I use paint as a vehicle for my ideas. Oh, that, that, that's cheap. That's a little... St uh. <laughs> But yeah, uh, no, bro, you know what? Elijah's right. being right about shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So that turtle, that turtle, 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 that turtle <laughs> is whipping the alligator. You know what I'm saying? He's just like ah ah. You know, think about the turtle sees the other turtles across. It's like the like the female turtles and the guys like riding the alligator. Yeah. And like I got twenty dollars in my pocket. And like other girls like oh my god, he's riding an alligator. They're supposed to see us. And he's like nah, baby. I live on the wild side. Mm. That's what's really fucking happening, Liquid. Open your mind. Man, he pulls up in the leather skin whip. Woo! And you know he's got the shades on, right. too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, he's just out here doing a big... You see, Liquid, I just need you to expand your horizons, okay? We have a serious problem no, with yeah. the microtransaction that you don't, you don't think like as grand as me, okay? Okay. Right? Yeah, you, can, you can say that. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I just, hey, look, no, no, I, I didn't disagree. I just wanted to make sure that's what it was. I wanted, that's why I want to double check. I want to look up this definition. I want to see, cause yeah, I, when I think of vehicle, my mind immediately goes to mechanical, right? Some mm -hmm, type of, mm -hmm. some type of, uh, of yeah, something, you know, like some type of engineering of some sort, uh -huh. right? Uh, mm -hmm. Human engineering at that. So, you, uh, but yeah, that was a problem. So that's why I wanted to make sure I'm like, wait, I think I, maybe I am wrong. I think vehicle, it could just be a mode of transportation and all of this, just a means of transportation. Mm -hmm. Damn, that means when a mother's carrying her child, mm -hmm. she's basically a car. Yeah, like a possum with her babies. Yep. Oh, I was thinking of humans, like when a woman's carrying a kid. Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. The kid's getting around. I was thinking when I'm in bed and she's on top, is she, am, I carrying, am I driving her? You are. No, she's driving. She's riding. You, she's riding. You're, riding you're, the vehicle. <laughs> you're the vehicle to climax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, liquid, Bobby. I'm just saying, dog. <laughs> All aboard the Climax Express. You know oh what I'm God. saying? <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time today, liquid. We're gonna you see, I told you because today's a good day. I told you, man. It feels good. Uh, I wasn't lying when I said that. Um, well, liquid. I don't know, dude. Fucking. Uh, like, what was I going to say? I had something like weird happened to me though like it, w it was very odd i was uh, you know right now in tampa the sun there's a sunset music festival going around oh right now like as we speak yeah oh. as we speak it's happening like right now okay and i'm and i'm driving my car and this girl has her whole ass out right because that's like it's that's, rave attire yeah. Yeah. you you get a little close to naked just doing you right and the thing is we kind of locked eyes she kind of nice. looked at me like, what the fuck are you looking at? And I looked at her like, what the fuck are you looking at? And then we were both like, but you could tell like, it was just like a, like a standstill. And okay. I'm like, of course I'm going to look. I'm like, it's not every day. Not even that you're a pretty girl with your ass out. Is that you're just a person with your ass out. Okay. Sure. I don't see that when I'm driving down the road too much. That's not my day to day norm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just. Liquid, have you ever had a situation like that where you got caught looking and the person gets mad at you for looking and you're like, what, what, what are we doing? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, there's that and then there's a, the joking one too. Like, oh, my bad. And it's like one of those things as well. Mm. But, um, but yeah, no, no, yes. I I, I wouldn't say it, it wasn't, it was like, it wasn't mad. It was disgusting. I'm like, oh my God, that is disgusting. Like, holy shit. Like, oh my God, I felt so gross. Like, oh, like, oh yeah. Okay. You did, did one of these, like, oh. like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's just, it's just interesting. And then I tell people like, oh, the festival is happening. And then you get the weird older guys like, oh, I need to drive down there. <laughs> and I'm like, ew. Dude, let me tell you. So one of my buddies, he lives right by the Raymond James Stadium, right? Mm -hmm. And he, uh, so he's out there with his wife and they're looking at all the people and, uh, you know, the, the wife is into it. She's like, oh man, you're so hot. Like telling these girls and she's like, that mm -hmm. looks so good. And, and she's like, the, she tells the husband, my, my boy, Brian, the th mm -hmm. okay. And let me give you some, let me give you some background on Brian. He's like this. If you saw him, you would think he's this uptight white guy. Cause he mm -hmm. wears, he wears white socks with like, you know, very comfortable Nike black sneakers with dress pants and a, and a dress shirt tucked into his shirt. He tucked in his shirt. You know what I'm saying? He wears glasses. Yes, dude. It's so, always has pens on him. He always carries a pen on him. Always in his pocket too. Like in his like, in a pen pocket. 
Like, yeah, I got you. It sounds like this guy's a fucking nerd. Dude, yes, that's what I'm saying. But but when you hear his stories, when you talk to this man, like, this dude is like, he's out there. He's like, yeah, man, fuck corporate America, man. And he's like, fuck all this shit. And he's like, yeah, when I used to drop acid back in the day. He's like, bro, yes. And like, he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, he smokes and shit like that, dude. Bro, I'm just like, it's a completely different guy, dude. Holy shit. Like, dude, what? You if you saw him, you would think he's a fucking nerd. But no, the dude is like, yeah, man. He goes, think- fuck the cops, dude, man. He's like, dude, <laughs> bro, but he's just like this. He looks like an uptight white guy, but he, he can't stand government. He can't yeah. stand shit, dude. This guy looks like the kind of guy that would be at a Republican convention. Yeah, exactly. Yes, he does. <clears throat> I'm like, this dude looks like he'd be almost front in line. But no. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, man. And he's like, back when, because he's, like, he's from upstate New York. Okay. So, and he's just like, where he's from, a lot of people, you know, were all about guns. He wasn't about it. He was like, yeah, whatever. I don't, uh, but he was like, but he was all about his, he said his Pontiac Grand M. And she goes, he made that thing used to rip. Or was it was it the Pontiac? I don't remember. He said, I forgot what car he had. But anyways, that's Brian. Was it a Firebird or something? Oh, I think it was a Firebird. And he goes, yeah. he goes, and I just had that. He like just cranked my stereo, man. Just listen to fucking rock, dude. And I'm just Bruh. like hardcore oh, rock. And okay, like, when you listen to like when you're thinking rock, what's the song that comes to your head? Because I had a song that just came to my head. So I'm thinking rock to him is like, let me see. He went to, so it would have been like early '90s rock. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, early 90s rock. What's early 90s rock? Is that like... I don't know, Savage Garden? I don't I, think I, Savage Garden <laughs> is considered rock at all. Wait, I don't know who Savage Garden is. Oh, the, the people that... Um, I want your dream, I want your wish, I want your fantasy. Oh, 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 I do know. Okay, yeah. so early rock, I guess, well, early 90s rock. That's I, guess, not, I think that's like late 90s or mid 90s. Green Day came I out with Basket Case in a 94. T- sorry, hold on. No, I no, want to no. lay with you in the sea. Uh, you can't, you can't undo that. Yeah. You know, you gotta like ride it out a little bit. So he's 90s. A, he's, oh, he's all like so Metallica like, oh. and shit like that. Metallica. And stuff like like he would listen to. Oh, he, no. I remember him mentioning Metallica. Just... So yeah. Anyways, well, this is the dude, right? And so mm. he's there with his wife. I almost forgot the story. I'll be honest with you. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so he's there with his wife, and she's just like, "Oh, honey, don't they look hot?" And he's like, "Yeah, you look amazing." And then I uh, our friend, then, then like another group, he goes, "Oh, like look at her. Like he's there staring at them because he thinks, hey, I got the okay now." Is what he thought. Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. he, he, so then he's just like he's there staring at another one. And then he like, hey, look at her. And she's like, oh my God, you're so disgusting. <laughs> Whoa. You see, he, the thing is, he oh, thought oh. he had the open door, bro. He thought he had the open door. So he's he like, let's, let's point and, him out. Uh, and he has a tie too. He likes those really skinny girls. Like uh, the, the chick from um, uh, Game of Thrones. The 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 redhead. She was from the north. Oh, that really yeah, skinny yeah, yeah. one. That that John yeah, Stone yeah, ends yeah. up married. Like Kit Harrington married. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. I know what I you're talking about. Name. Yeah, he is in love with that woman. He thinks she's like one of the hottest things to ever walk the face of this earth. Really? Yeah. Well, she is very attractive. I'm not gonna sure, lie, but sure. like, I wouldn't think of it as a go. That's like his. You know? That was like his top. Like like. Oh, like, he's like, like, this is the la creme of the la creme. Yes. And, uh, what was it? Uh, like, yeah, is, is she supposed to like everybody? Like, all the fan casting is supposed to have that girl play a- Aloy in the the new newly oh, announced show. That would be cool. Yeah, because she's already you've already seen her on screen shooting arrows, and you're like, all mm-hmm. right. And I think she probably will get. She's got the fire so, red hair. Supposed, yeah, is that her? I real think hair? she's supposed. To, Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, she has that like that Irish red, you know, thing going it, it, on. It is pretty hot. It's not. It's not bad looking at all. It looks really no, good. It, it's just unanimous that all redheads are crazy. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, I yeah, have, no have idea. you ever I don't met know. a redheaded girl in real life? I think so. I think like in elementary, and she had like a. a she was spazzing out on the floor, if I'm not mistaken. Why was she spazzing on the floor? Like, she was just, like, ha- she wasn't getting her way, so she got upset. And I think she was just having a little fucking, what do you call tantrum? it? Yeah, a little tantrum. She made a little tantrum. So maybe maybe that adds to your point that she's they're crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I remember because I always think this guy, at when I used to work at Sonny's, and he was dating this red-headed girl. 
and bro they would get in some wild situations really just like they would fight and he's like man I don't know why I'm with her. And then I'm like, you know why you with her? And he looked at me like, yeah, I know why I'm with her. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I was like, cause she was bad, but you're like, she was full crazy. So it was great for me. Cause I'm like, Hey, I, I'm, we're not hooking up. So I get to enjoy the crazy. No, yeah, like without a doubt. You can, you, you can enjoy it from the distance. It's great. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then when it gets to a level of crazy, no longer be, you're like, Ooh, not my problem. Liquid, did you just, whoa. No, that was. Did he just adjust? That was Sylvester, baby. That was Sylvester. Bro, Sylvester. Don't bring it back like down. He... Bring it back down. No, thank oh. you. Oh, oh. God damn, Sylvester. You. you know, you're a little like. Hey, can you get can you get him going a little to little to this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's as far as it goes. Uh, okay, 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 okay. But we can get him to go over here. No, oh, okay, okay. All right. He 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 even focuses when he needs to. You know what I'm saying? So he focus on me. Stay Isn't there. wait which character from fucking Looney Tunes? Is um, with Sylvester, I, I want to say Sylvester Stallone. No, the cat. No, that's not it. Oh, the cat. Yeah, Sylvester. I'm, Sylvester and Tweety. Uh, oh, you're fucking right, dude. Dude, bring but, those guys to the multiverses. And... Dude, remember when people made Tweety their entire personality trait? Dude, like I would say Looney Tunes in general. It wasn't just Tweety. Like I and, and I'll be honest with you, I almost fell in that boat too. All right, like, dude, I had the journal, the denim journal, but with the Looney Tunes on it, with the cool fucking clothes and shit. Sometimes, like, oh, you, you, know? you threw that cool thing in front of that. Yeah, and I'm like, they, oh, they had the the hats, they had the baggy clothes. They were essentially oh crisscross, but Looney Tunes. You know what I'm saying? Like with Chris, like that crisscross style, right? The, yeah, the, the baggy jeans and shit like that. So yeah, I had like posters of that. I had a poster of that, like a big one, in my room. Really? Coolest kid in the block. Who is the block? I don't think so. So you were one of those people who were, was like, were like Popeye or the or one of the Looney Tunes Chris, hanging out like this in white Chris. and black. Let me tell you a story, bro. Oh okay. god, fuck. Um, I'm glad we brought this up because because <laughs> there's, I'm a, glad we brought there's a story here. No, that's fine. Okay. So um, in Puerto Rico, right? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta love when they start like that. Uh, yeah. So the thing is, yeah, I had those notebooks again. Again, it was like. It was it was a composition notebook for those who don't know mm -hmm. it's those black and white ones with the lines in it uh mm -hmm. but the cover was like it was like it looked like denim it wasn't denim material but it was a denim picture right and okay. then like i said you had the looney tunes characters on the corner right and mm -hmm. uh there's this girl she had a tweety book bag well, of course she did all right so i was just like well she's attractive mm -hmm. i know what she likes this is like mm -hmm. little kid stalker shit. Anyways, uh, mm -hmm. I know she likes. So you know what? And and you know what else I have? I have a talent. I can draw. I can have. I can do something a lot of these kids can't in this fucking in this stupid classroom. So you know what? Time <sighs> to stand the fuck out. So you know what I did? I drew a little Tweety, and I was just like, I, and, I, and I drew all, other Looney Tune characters too. I drew them all, Chris. I drew them all. I had Bugs. I had Tweety. I had everybody. I had Tasmanian Devil. To the point that I'm just like, she's sitting behind me. I tell my boy, yo, yo, yo. Yo, let me show you some drawings. Is what I tell my boy, and I'm just like, I'm passing them along to him. I'm like, check out this one, which is Tweety, but she's right behind me. And then she's like, Mira Tweety. Remember, this is Puerto Rico, bro. I was in. Oh, uh, like, yo, how old is she? <laughs> but I remember, oh wait, like, she's a child. So yeah, yeah. Was, I'm just like, yeah. So she's like, look, it's Tweety. Is what she said, and she was all over it. Then when the other girls found out, Liquid has a little talent here with drawing. They all demanded pictures chris so then i was working you know but i was giving the girls out pictures i'm like the fucking i'm like the mysterious artist you know what i'm saying i'm like the oh the God. bad boy artist in the in the classroom is what i was <laughs> the bad boy the bad artist boy mysterious. Were drawing looney tunes <laughs> chris it was looney tunes with a cool flip they were cool all right jesus man just have they, to shit I don't on think it. they were ever that cool. they were cool i always remember people like wearing it and having this stuff and trying to make like bugs bunny wear like uh like a bandana and shit like that and i'm like yo that shit is so that's so so cringe cool, bro, it, bro. it sounds like the, the kind of person who thought that was cool is the kind of same the same person that wore jorts eventually yes but it was you cool see, 
It was, it, it, it did was, you also have like a NASCAR M and M jacket? No, I never had that. I never had that. I never had that. I never had that. Did you think about it, Liquid? Some of them were cool. The Budweiser one, I thought was cool because I'm like, I, I look like a, a little alcoholic out here going to school and shit. Oh my god! Like there was a Budweiser. Were, I didn't do the M M&M and M one. I didn't do the M M&M. and I, I didn't like the NASCAR oh. jackets. I didn't. I wasn't a huge fan. Remember when that was fucking popular? But what I what I was a fan of. Is okay. the full denim pants and shirt suit, the jacket and pants, like the same, you know what I'm saying? Canadian tuxedo? Huh? Are you talking about a Canadian tuxedo? Is, is that what that is? Like, it's, we're talking about baggy pants and like a jean jacket, but they but they match. It's like, it's the same. Where you're wearing denim on denim? Yeah. With like a white shirt that's underneath. A tux- that's a... And that's boots. A, isn't that a... Hold on. A, a Canadian tuxedo. Is denim on... Yo, look, 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 ask Google right quick. Because if memory serves me correct, a, t- a Canadian tuxedo is a denim shirt and some denim pants. I don't know if flannel's involved, but I think that's what it's called. Yo, check it, look at this. This is Justin Timberlake. Whoa! Justin Timberlake and uh, Britney Spears in their denim on denim on oh. denim. She got a denim dress. Come on, I need you to focus here. No, if anything, you can you can always do it in, in post where you can just put the picture yeah, up. Yeah, true. Yeah, but oh, she, it's blurry. It's blurry now with the back around. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna get super close. Anyways, you get it. You get it. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but no, nah, dude, I'm talking. It was cooler than that, Chris. It was cooler than that. I'm gonna show you the one here. Hold on. Okay. All right. It's cooler than that. By the way, this is my co-host, guys. He's being. And the thing is, you think he's joking? He think he's putting on a gag for y'all? He's not. There was a part of. Oh my god, liquid. You're out here wearing Canadian tuxedos? No, nah, because you leave it open, bro. Oh, that that's, makes it on Canadian? That, that's the difference. You wear a white shirt underneath. You let it out. You maybe wear some Tims with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I saw like a Marion wearing stuff like that back in the day. Oh, you, oh okay. Mr. Icebox himself? Yeah, bro, yes. Like, mm. let me see. Yo, so I, I remember one time country, he... Uh, he he broke up with his girlfriend uh-huh. and he was real sad and he's like I just want to drive around and I was like okay buddy I'm here for you and guess what he did just put Omari on Xbox on repeat for like an hour damn and driving I, around Tampa I, I, like listen I'm I'm not gonna say he's right for doing that uh-huh. but I've been there you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I've and I've <laughs> and I've done that some something similar. You know what I'm saying? I, I drove around listening to it. Cause I just got off the phone with her. I, I got a perfect song for this situation. And then I went to go press play on my Bluetooth phone, but I forgot I don't have Bluetooth phone, so I put it back down. Mm. I, I, so I, I flipped my Nokia right back down. And then, I, yeah, and then I decided, I proceeded to look through my mixed CDs. And I'm like, oh, oh I got the one that I need. Yeah, I got the one that I need. It was a, it was a case that, that Frank got me, New York Giants case. And then I went ahead and I switched the CDs. I'm like, okay, this one's lucky number 13, this track was. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm just like, fussing and fighting, we back at it again. I know. Bro, and, and you know, I went through, uh, I was going through the Skyway Bridge while I was listening to it. Like, oh, Dave, you were out there. Yeah, but you? Your boy was creating a mood. I was creating a mood. <laughs> like it was like I went to like uh not I was like channel side and shit like that is that where they go the rich houses and stuff like by the water yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, 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 yeah I was yeah. going down the houses bro just like you know in my in my 1993 teal Honda Civic hatchback yeah, EG6 fuck. making all oh. kinds of noise just ripping and tearing down the road like oh no one's have ever no one has ever been in more pain than I am right yeah, now yeah dude I'm like yeah. <laughs> I'm like, listen, people, p- listen, lovely people living in these areas, you're gonna have to take this one because I'm going through something. Like, this is yeah, what Lionel, R- this is what Lionel Richie was singing about. This, oh yeah, yeah clearly. Uh, wait, Lionel Richie? Yeah. Sorry. Like up all night um, or all night long? No, the other one. Uh, I can see it in your the... eyes. Oh, can... I... yeah, what... a... have you ever seen that video? Is it she blind or something? Like. She makes the ugliest sculpture of this man's face. Oh, oh, I remember. I'm like, yo, that looks nothing like him. Like, if anything. Like, his job looks huge. Yeah, dude. Like, I lo- everything about the video is great. And it's like, oh, man, you guys uh really took the, the budget cut on the st- on the sculpture. You should have really doubled down on that one. Like, that- yeah, I'm like, that was the, yeah, it was the whole centerpiece of this music video. You yeah. decided to just go to sleep on it. But yeah, I so, yeah. so I've been there. I've done it, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at him. 
Bro, no, nah, I was next to him. I did. I was there. Damn, the thing is, y'all were experiencing it together, dude. Yeah, were, yeah. Oh, he didn't man. want to be alone. He he wanted to listen to Omar, and he's like, "Is this cool?" I'm like, "Yes." You, all right, because I'm your fucking friend. All right, and friends are there for each other. And I was like, "I get." And he, bro, we, we weren't talking at all, by the way. This oh, whole you, you time. can't. You can't. No, bro. You you know what they call that? They call that being bromarions. Is what Bromar. they, <laughs> That's what you got. You guys were bromarions. And we were in his Dodge Stratus, which we used to call the Stagwire for some reason. Oh my God. And, uh, bro, there was one time where we almost saw a Jaguar top. This is when we were young and dumb. But we're like, bro, should we take the Jaguar thing and try to super glue it on the Dodge Stratus? And we came this close. And I was not peak wild, but I was pretty wild at this time right this is i think even before i met you okay and and i was just like ah, no we shouldn't we shouldn't fuck with someone's car like that and since we were but around a bunch of guys it's like ah, yeah you're right we shouldn't oh. fuck around with huh. man's car. and it was just, then we just walked away but somebody out there didn't know how close they got to taking the jaguar this, straight man that would have been sucky dude like damn it and it rained that day you know, uh, ah, it's just yeah, but I don't know. Like I don't know what the plan was, but but that was it. Yeah, but we were in, bro, we were in the stagger. I remember so adamantly because I was like, oh man, I'm like, good thing this song fucking slaps, bro. I was, was like, this is when the song just came out. Yeah, and I was just, it was a banger. Yeah, yeah man. Oh god, good times. Remember, great Omar, times. Yeah. But uh, that's gonna do it for us on this episode here of the Microtransaction Extra episode. Uh, thank you for joining us. Chris, do you have any last words to say to the people back at home? Before before I leave, he was part of B2K, right? He was. He was He was part of B2K, which stood for Burger King twice. No, it didn't. But um, I was like, what? <laughs> uh, it's so funny. There was, real quick, there was a, uh, I was in class, and one of the teachers was like, what's B2K? This was back in high school. And this dude said Burger King twice. <laughs> and then she's like, oh. And everybody's like, no, it's not. Like It was just so funny. And she was about to go along with it, too. Anyways, I'm going to leave you all per usual. Love each other. Take care. But above all, just be cool. Hopefully, you enjoy the stories. And we'll see you next week. This has been an extra episode of the Micro Transaction. <laughs>